Hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me well. We have been testing. Yes, great. Maybe you heard that as well. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. I do hope that it will be at least to some extent interesting for you, as well as uh, maybe you get some ideas or you start thinking once again about this uh, coexistence and cooperation, as I would say. So, in general, uh, when I was thinking about this topic, I thought, okay, so I have heard so many thoughts from Scrum Masters about team leaders, not only very positive ones, also some, I'd say, a little bit negative, like what the heck they are doing there, they are just not helping solving the problems, and from team leaders also as well, some, some of the ideas. And of course, I know a lot of positive examples as well, and today I thought um, just to gather everything, my experience as being an uh, agile coach, also working for several years as a team leader and also working as a business coach in different companies from the very small ones uh, to, um, I would say, worldwide companies of over 200,000 employees. And uh, I wanted today to share with you uh, the, aim, the aim of my speech is to have uh, like both roles uh, for the same team. And this is the main part. If you want to remember just one, one thing from uh, my speech today is that the, the both roles, so Scrum Master and Team Leader, uh, are for the team. And for the purpose of this uh, today's speech, I want to define the team's purpose as to deliver value for the clients. So those both roles are helping team to deliver value for the clients. Of course, to some extent, you know, I had to put it in one sentence, so it may not be as complex as you may think. And today I have prepared like four scenarios for you um, to gather my experience uh, and also um, my experience, my own experience, as well as uh, me coaching and mentoring Scrum Masters and Team Leaders. Uh, what are the four scenarios of Scrum Master Team Leading relation? and um, also what, I, uh, what the challenges there might be to fulfill uh, those scenarios and, as I said, to help the team deliver value for the clients. And um, just want to keep in mind that I have excluded a product owner from this particular presentation and from this equation only for today, because I, I thought it will be but um, at um, lots of complexity because then we have you no know, matrix of, of different skills but of course very often what we notice this is coexistence of scrum master product owner and team leader and all those three roles cooperating with the other members of, of the team so i just want to put the caveat here that on purpose it is excluded from today's speech so why it does not work in general, it might not work. I, I want to say that, um, of course, there are many positive examples. However, they, uh, there are some uh, not, um, examples of not such good cooperation as well. First of all, what I noticed, maybe you have this experience as well, is that there is a difference in the scope that is not visible enough for all parties. So the Scrum Master and Team Leader, they may, there may be overlap sometimes. The team for the team is not that for the rest of the team is not so clear what who is doing what exactly. And also Scrum Masters and Team Leaders sometimes perceive things from other different, their own perspectives. Because if we are Team Leader, for example, we look at things from Team Leader perspective very often. This is our first perspective that we have. And the same goes for Scrum Master. And also, very often, they come from different backgrounds. So sometimes team leader uh, may be from different backgrounds than Scrum Master is, and that I want to share a little bit more in those scenarios. And the last one is that the both roles have not established very often good, I would say, good enough cooperation. Yes, because we do not need anything that is perfect. We need something that works for this particular team in this particular situation. So that is also what I observed in, in uh, my career as well, working with different teams and uh, different individuals. So the one of the first scenarios, and there will be four of them, it will be a combination of Scrum Master who is entry-level Scrum Master and experienced or, or not experienced team leader. And I will share with you what 
what may go wrong from my experience and also uh, what can we do to prevent it or to just um, react if we notice something, something like that. So the first scenario is that we have entry levels from master and experienced team leader, but in entry, entry level, I mean, this is someone who has just started in this role. It doesn't mean that they do not have any other experience, but often what I observe currently in our, our agile environment is uh, and uh, agile um, community, very often Scrum Master is the first role of that person as well, in general of the studies, for example. And experienced team leader, I mean, someone who is already for a couple of years, for example, in this, in this role. So what can go wrong in that situation? First of all, Scrum Master wants to prove that he knows or she knows enough. Yes, they have learned something and they want to, to show it that, okay, I know it already. The other uh, element is that Scrum Master may have more theoretical approach with no hands-on experience. It's like, I have read this in this particular book, so we have to do this in that way. This is the other approach. I'm not saying it's bad or good, it just happens. Yes, it, it might trigger in some people different spots. And it really impacts then the cooperation. The other side of this equation is that the team leader is convinced that, okay, I do not, I'm not working with an experienced Scrum Master, so Scrum Master cannot bring any value to this um, discussion, yes? So the approach like, go learn something and come back, then we can talk. Yeah, so this is unfortunately what we see from time to time. I'm not, not sure whether you have the same uh, experience, but this is from time to time what I I noticed, um, and also I heard um, words like, you'll have a saying once you gain some experience. Yes? This is what I, th those are, I would say, the real life uh, um, uh, citations and quotations from the sometimes team leaders I have been working with, and the same goes from, from Scrum Masters. Um, so how can they start in this particular situation? And I will not show you the full list because we are on the, you know, Agile uh, meeting, Agile conference, so we know that we have adjusted and there are many different solutions. But I, for each and every situation, I have gathered three that for um, different situations worked for me and uh, worked for other, other people. So maybe that would be for you a starting point, uh, either using it or just starting thinking, okay, I have not a situation like that, so what can I actually do? Maybe I can use it to some extent. So the first one um, is the, to start with something like a mini workshop about the roles and the scopes. And for that, this mini workshop, uh, my experience is that very often uh, it is good to have a facilitator. If you have an um, HR coach or anyone else that is not involved in this relation directly, it is good for, for this person to, to hold that, um, uh, to hold the, this particular workshop. Sometimes I use, I would say, um, adjust a little bit uh, delegation poker, you probably know it, uh, and I use the cards also for, for this discussion. So as always, the most important, this is that we give some tools for the people to start talking. For example, okay, so I believe team leaders should do this and that, and whether Scrum Master thinks that um, this is the main responsibility of team leader or Scrum Master should be involved to what extent and what the team leader thinks about it. And this triggers uh, discussion. The example is that I have started with one team, for example, this um, workshop, uh, workshop, and it proved that we needed like four different sessions because so many tech topics came up that they had different views on that. And this was exactly this case, that there was Scrum Master who was new in this particular role. The other element it is good to uh, use uh, is to have regular exchange of observations and points of view on the team. So you just have regular meetings that are focused on that. Okay, so I see it from the team leader perspective and team leader then is sharing his or her perspective to the Scrum Master. So if he is or she is not excluding um, the opinion from Scrum Master, but they are sharing that and also hearing what Scrum Master uh, can also tell uh, about it. Additionally, it is good for Scrum Master to have this opportunity, for example, to observe, to think, to reassess what he or she uh, so observed within the team, and then possibility to share it, to talk about it, and also uh, gain some experience. 
And uh, the thing that I often use as well, this is to define a starting point for Scrum Master to support team leader. So we are not going to um, pull on all the topics, but we just focus on one thing that Scrum Master can um, work on and they can discuss. It's also much easier for the Scrum Master not to just drown in, in the topics as well. So some of the benefits from this po those particular solutions, the first is that it is a chance for Scrum Master to gain uh, the team leader's perspective. And this is what I also uh, always encourage uh, Scrum Masters, especially if they, they are, for example, after the training, they focus from, uh, on, okay, so what is, what is in the Scrum Guide, so I have to follow the framework. So look uh, much more wider and to look what is the team leader's perspective here, because it really depends on a company, what's, uh, what are the, the, how the roles are defined. And then it is good to understand very often team leader's perspective is to some extent also business perspective or uh, different aspect of leading uh, um, people. And to understand also what are the challenges. Uh, I myself, I, I can say that when I um, was looking at things, uh, having team leader hats and also looking at things being a scrum master, it helped me a lot to know, okay, so when I was a team leader, that was my challenge. But when I think from the perspective of scrum master, this, I can solve it maybe that, that way. And also, this is a great opportunity for team leader. So if you are such a team leader in such a situation, or maybe you know someone, advise them to also a good opportunity to verify and recalibrate the approach because we are uh, just uh, having the habit of doing some things exactly the same way and this is a great opportunity also to uh, maybe refresh our memory how was it the other element the other scenario is the experienced scrum master and entry uh, level team leader so this is the opposite option so what can go wrong in in that situation scrum master acts like i know it all way if you are experienced scrum master and now you are thinking come on i'm not doing this way i'm experienced scrum master i'm a mature scrum master that's great <laughs> uh, but i also um, notice that from time to time even if we do not notice we think in that way because we are as i said just um we are just doing things in one uh, one way we got used to um, this approach and sometimes even small things small thoughts like that may appear and second element is that Scrum Master diminished uh, or is, is diminishing the team leader's actions. Like in front of the team, this is the worst case scenario, of course, um, what may happen or in other meetings with other stakeholders as well. Team leader in that situation, what can go wrong, wants to prove themselves. So they want to show, okay, I'm in a new position and also always being in, in a new position, new uh, role is very, very challenging. So uh, that's, uh, they want also to show, I know what I'm doing, yes, and to, to be opposite of this Scrum Master. So how can they start really in that situation? Scrum Master, and this would uh, also is uh, um, the approach I'm always advising, is a part of onboarding process for new team leader. So they can provide coaching, mentoring from the perspective of uh, Agile or maybe other approaches that are uh, in the company. And it's also great being a part of that process. I myself have been already for a couple of times in an onboarding process for team leaders, from product, for product owners, and it also always worked well. Uh, Scrum Master actively supports team building process for team leader and the team. So this is also the element that we may forget from time to time. So we are not as Scrum Masters or Agile Coaches, you can apply to Agile Coach as well. We are not in a position that, okay, so I will do now for the team, team building. No, I'm helping new team leader and team to bond, because maybe we have already the bond like that. And team leader uses Scrum Master, I would say like rubber ducking the idea. So Scrum Master is hearing all the ideas and then uh, team leader verifies whether this works or not. Yes, this is like first option to, to check that. Some of the benefits, it is an opportunity for Scrum Master also to gain new skills or master them because we, uh, when we are coaching, when we are mentoring also, um, it, I would say it boosts our um, competencies as well. And what here we gain, it is clearly established cooperation that is great for the team. 
The third one, this is entry level Scrum Master and Team Leader, that uh, they both are on the same level. And this is a little bit a tricky one. It happens, yes, but this is a tricky one. And what can go wrong? Uh, both want to prove that they know enough. Yes, so I know it. And the other says, yes, I know it, but we read the different books. So now what? Yes, and I will prove to, to you that I, in my book, it is different, uh, all my training, it was better set. The other option is that both may have more theoretical approach. And of course, in the areas of expertise, with no experience, it's such a cooperation. And that's the case also, the tricky one here. The other element is that team is with change. So the worst case scenario, I'm a new Scrum Master, I know it all, I have read something, and I know that it should be done this way. And I'm a new team leader, and let's say I read the top five books I found on the internet about being a great leader, and now I will show the team what can we do better. Yes, and now the team in the middle is saying, oh gosh, what should we do? And where is the product? Yeah, so that's that I've seen as well. Of course, this is the what can go wrong. <laughs> if you see any symptoms, that's why I'm showing you the, the wrong, uh, I would say, um, approach. Uh, because if you see any symptoms of that, it is also a good like, reminder, maybe now we should do something with this, not to go to this full scenario. Um, so how can they start as well? As I said, examples, not the whole list. So first of all, it is great of regular experience sharing and brainstorming. It is, I knew this from that, my perspective or in this way, this way, this week, that was challenging for me. What was for, the, for you? Yes, and they together, they learn, they grow together. And what is uh, also been beneficial here, that they participate on their own in different mentoring masterminds, Already many companies start building masterminds within, uh, within companies, for example, for new Scrum Masters, for product owners, and they talk about what they have learned. Also, this is a great learning opportunity, experience, uh, sharing, and that's a benefit for the team. Because the main part, they should work together and they should understand each other. And I would put here that the crucial element, the crucial role is the organization that can support that process. Because if they do not have experience um, in establishing such a cooperation, there is no one uh, with being, I would say, mature in this particular role. It is very hard uh, to, to start. Yes, they all can, of course, learn from their examples, but it may be a little bit challenging. The benefits here, the both, and of course the team, which still the most important part here, they are not overwhelmed with what's going on. All the changes may be also uh, not uh, very helpful for the team as such. And also this is an uh, opportunity to, to gain wider perspective also already from the start. But my experience shows that critical element is also having, let's say, mythical organization on some processes in the organization on even one person in organization that can help those um, uh, two roles two people to start this cooperation to help them establish it in a uh, way that works for all the parties yes, and for the companies and the last scenario here this is experienced scrum master and experienced team leader and here, it also may go interesting. So the one element is that both roles are convinced that this action is not my scope. And this is exactly what uh, happened in one of my cooperations as well. We noticed it after, I believe, a month that I was sure that, OK, so this is a team leader and uh, that would be his call. And after some time, he told me, OK, but you are in that case uh, agile coach are working as a scrum master for, for a team. So haven't you done that? I said, no, this is team leader. <laughs> yes, and it proved that somehow we missed one of the elements of our communication from the start. Because we all uh, have some stereotypes or maybe we have some even prejudices about uh, how this war uh, role works. And so we just gaining it along the way. Also, some expectations simply it doesn't have to be stereotypes, but it may be expectation how how it looks uh, the cooperation. And so often on this level, it may appear that if it is wrong scenario, that they are both convinced they own the truth. So I know it. I've done it for ten years. I've done it for five years. I have 
works with 30 uh, teams and it's proved that it's working. So uh, for sure I am right. And the same is telling the team leader. Unfortunately, maybe for the team, they are talking about different ideas. And uh, hopefully they are not contradictory in that case. So how can they start? I would say in that case also start from the day one of the cooperation. First of all, as I said in my example, is to define the responsibilities, expectations, and discussing those regularly, and also discuss it with a team, and as well as tell the team what they have agreed, for example, about the, their cooperation. I would say on that level how it differs from what I said from the first scenario, so mini workshop, the difference is that um, often on this level of um, expertise, we are able to have that discussion together. We do not need fa facilitator. Uh, my experience and what I observe proves that the case we need um, facilitator is a little bit too late. We, we have already uh, went to this a little bit of um, a pre-conflict scenario and then we need someone to help us. Because we, we have already uh, knowledge how to, how to talk about those elements. The other element that I noticed from time to time it already starts, I'm not sure whether in your teams, in your experience and companies, it is already there as well. This is peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. We often think as mentoring that there is mentee and there is mentor who um, is um, much more experienced than we are. But peer-to-peer -peer mentoring is also a great opportunity maybe for one-to-one -to -one meetings with uh, between Scrum Master and um, leader as well, and sharing feedback. But I'm not talking only about feedback, like one-to-one -one feedback, but also feedback that um, about our work. Yes, we are observing each other and maybe suggesting, um, uh, sh sharing, I would say, maybe not suggesting going that far, but sharing what we think about each other's uh, work, yes, and also um, feedback slash opinion, if we go very pure definition of feedback, um, that's, that's the case. And one of the last elements, what is important in that case, and I believe in this scenario, we are already on the level that we are able to do that, this is transparent work on individual and team goals. Very often, for example, Scrum Master is part of Scrum Master's team. It is, and they are in different uh, either division or element of, of, of the uh, company, and they may have also individual or team goals. And it doesn't have to be very company individual goals, like uh, this evaluation process and things like that, but I may have my personal goals. So I want in this year, uh, master the skill of something like that. Yes, it's good also in, on this level to talk about it openly and make sure that the other side know, knows about it. Maybe they can help us as well and it can be with the benefits for the whole um, team as well. And what are the benefits some of I, I decided to note to, to mention here is that there are no hidden parts that may lead to a conflict as I said. And our element is that all the tasks and potential problems are being taken care of. And so we do not have any um, hidden expectation or not mentioned or maybe stereotypes uh, and things, things like that. Uh, and we can, uh, we can sort it out um, into built cooperation that helps, helps the team. So those are the four uh, scenarios I today I wanted to, to share with you and some of, of the ideas how we can start working on, on that. I hope that it, to some extent it, I, maybe it was um, helpful for you and maybe you, in case you will be in such a situation uh, it, it may trigger some, some new ideas as well. So the last element uh, for my speech is as I said, one thing that uh, if I want to, you to remember after that, uh, my, my speech is that think how we may, by we, I mean Scrum Master slash Agile Coach and Team Leader, uh, together bring value to the team using the synergy of our skills. And that's, that's the case here. Because if we can build the synergy of our skills, then we are able also uh, to help the team, first of all, not to... Um, I would say disturb them with what we are doing and the second level so this is neutral and the second hopefully uh, what always happens it is to bring value uh, to, to the team for them to be uh, able to do their work. That's all from my end thank you very much uh, and I believe we have maybe some minutes for questions if there are three minutes if you have any if not then uh, you can <laughs> 
Hi, thank you very much for an interesting presentation. Uh, so I'm wondering if you are able to recommend any tools uh, to build a feedback culture, especially for the first uh, scenario with an experienced uh, team leader. Uh, and um, the team leader in my situation acts as a line manager. Mm -hmm. So the situation is uh, more difficult. And do you have a Scrum Master as well or Agile Coach? Uh, or this yeah. Is just, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, always when you think about the feedback culture, I would say start with, with the team and to, uh, if you, if you are working on, uh, with work one team, for example, um, then start with building, um, feedback culture or being openness to feedback and to sharing feedback and to receiving feedback within, within one team. And as it was said already today, like start small and then scale up, uh, to, to other, to other teams. Um, one of the tools I use when I'm not sure whether the team is, is ready to say something so openly, we just put it in writing and it's like sending letters to each other. And then we have a session that if anyone wants to discuss it or ask any questions, then this is the moment to do that. Uh, then very often people start talking about feedback and when they are writing in a digital way, uh, we uh, just send emails. I mean, one person is collecting. If we do not have any additional tools, just one person is collecting uh, all the um, uh, all the feedbacks and sending anonymously, like uh, or, or everything that uh, to uh, to one person. If uh, the team is ready already to to do that, uh, maybe retrospective, as simple as that, is a good example. Just okay. So let's share. Uh, um, like one two thoughts about um working with each other very, very simple one if we can do that we can we can go further with for example one hour uh, um, workshop just focus on uh, feedback if it's new completely for the team uh, i would start with explaining what feedback is maybe to show some uh, scenarios or schemas uh, but uh, very often i do not um but to encourage to, to write it exactly in full way, because it, especially if we are a BSI, because if you start it, then people think, okay, so it's so dull, it's, it's so tiresome, I do not have time to do that, I have to code, for example. Yeah, so, so um, just write a few sentences, remember about two or three main important rules, or just um, say it in, in that, that way. Then, uh, I would advise also to, to uh, small, start with small experiment, gather the feedback from from the team how they feel about it maybe individually yes feedback <laughs> and uh, or just see uh, what would be the reaction so after a month or two whether anything changed because often it this one meeting helps i hope i answered if not i can <laughs> give you longer answer but i think we do not have time now i can sh uh, share that with you later on we can allow for the last question thank you Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. That was very well structured. And I wonder, when you are talking about this per dynamics between IT leader and Scrum Master, and let's think about a triangle when you have a Scrum Master and product owner and IT leader, would you recommend the same approach or different? Often the tools I use uh, for the mix of experience and uh, um, entry level are to some extent similar. We, uh, by adjust them, uh, it, it depends, for example, whether we have two people that are entry level and one that it's uh, experienced, just to avoid us a situation like a um, master and a student, because that's not very beneficial for the relation, and it's very hard to come from that. Um, maybe in that case, there is an additional patient, person that can help maybe facilitate some, some meetings. Um, also, uh, what I would recommend for sure, this is the mini workshop I, I, I uh, talked um, about. Um, for example, with one of the teams I use, they have uh, done it for a couple of sessions and uh, they have contacted me. We have already stopped cooperating together, but they could have contacted me and I said, okay, can you tell, tell us how was it exactly because we want to do it once, once again um, because we are changing uh, the people in, in the roles. So that, that helps also because then everyone could say, for example, I believe as a product owner that Scrum Master should uh, be able to know this and that or should have an uh, saying in this. So that, that, was, that was starting points for, for this. But of course, as it is with Agile, it really depends on the situation. <laughs> Thank you very much.